You were parking the captain spot? <laughs> I am the captain now. Would have loved to spend some more time in St. Andrews, but we wanted to cover a lot of ground on this trip. And we headed north and along the coast through the Aberdeen area, and the first course we hit in that area of the country was Cruden Bay. Cruden Bay is my shit. Cruden Bay is different. It's a lot more like a course you'd see in Ireland than it is Scotland. It's defined by these massive dunes and the holes play alongside of them, into the bases of them, goes up on top of them, weaves back through and around them, and it's the way, the, the course was designed to be played around and through these dunes, and it's the main hazard that you encounter along the way. You wouldn't build a course like this nowadays, but that's what traditional links is all about. It's, it's so natural and it just follows the, the sand dunes and just follows the lay of the land. And I think that's an important thing for a traditional Lynx golf course. Try not to get some re reading material. Required reading for us. That's kind of a missed opportunity. <laughs> not naming it the full one. Uh, oh, hey, we're gonna sign the mystery. Four whiskey miniatures with your green feet today. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. So we decided that every time somebody made a birdie that we were all going to take a nip of whiskey and give a compliment to whoever made the birdie, which was harder for some people to do than others. Gross birdie or nip birdie? Gross birdie. Gross birdies? Disgusting birdies. <laughs> Boys, let's have a crack. Let's do it. Bit of a crack. Cracking Look at sight this of course. That's a birdie at the first there. Get some whiskey. That's gonna be a rip, a little snifter of the whiskey there. It's a little nip. Solly, I, I love your maroon vest today, and that was a hell of an opening birdie. Cheers to you, bud. Thank you. Hey, I love uh, that you know you've started taking three iron off the tee. That's really fun to watch. Thank you. Very cool. Cheers to you. Great birdie. Thank you. Oh, I like the way you match your your maroon vest to the maroon stripe in the shirt. That's, that's very cool, man. Yeah, that's cool. It's hey, layers. That's cool. Good it's for you. Hey, hey, you hey, to so hey, to Solly. Hey, to Solly. And to Warren. And to Warren. And to Warren. And to Warren. Cheers. 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 Crack on. All right, that's gonna be a birdie <laughs> at the second for Sally. Let's drink again. Hey, I just want to say, you know, we drive, drive us here. Thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, Sally, you know, you're a real mensch, just in general. Cheers. You guys gotta run out of things to say about this. Okay. That's quickly. First two holes are pretty straightforward, but once you get to the third, it's just a full tour de force. The third's a drivable par four, and it's drivable for everybody. It's less than 270 yards. And yeah, they might hit it in the hole. What? Scummy DJ actually tried to cheat Randy out of an eagle opportunity. I was playing a Callaway one originally. We were rushed at the tee. I didn't have time to mark it. We both hit drives through the chute on this par four. One's like 20 feet of the pin, one's a little long. And now we're trying to like check scuff marks. I just hit a 56 on the last hole. I think that's my scuff mark. This ball's pretty clean. There is a tiny scuff mark right there. <laughs> Which one is that one? That was on the green? This is on the green. I think that's you. Okay. Look, bud, I think it's you. It's cool of you to be this cool. I just want to say that. Great shot, bud. All right. Touch a class hey, there, dude. Let's both make threes. Here's your big 
for Eagle. Oh. Just a bit right of the intended line. How'd that stay out? The oh, kid is it. in. Gerard's done it! <laughs> Just a textbook two putt there. This one for three in a row. Oh, oh hate to see it. That's poor effort. Here's trying for birdie at three. Yep. Oh, and he's Bang. done it. Oh, and he's done it. Oh, and he's done it. We're going to be toasting Uncle Tron. Oh, Three birds. It. That's really cool, bud. I got to compliment everybody. Hey. hey. That's awesome. Yeah. Rules job, controversy man. settled. Everybody wins. All right, so through uh, three holes, we've got five birdies in the group. Everybody made birdie but me, so I got to compliment everyone. Randy, you make me laugh every day. Tron, the more ridiculous your outfits look, the better you look. TJ, uh, your, your positive outlook on life give, makes, gives me a positive outlook on Thanks, life. Thanks, man. Let's hey, cheers. Cheers, cheers, boys. Cheers. cheers. Oh. oh, it's lovely. Oh, I hate whiskey. <laughs> the fourth is the first par three. It's the first hole where you really see and experience the dunes. The green site sits beautifully underneath the dune. And it plays right alongside this river with a little town and hotels right to the left. I know Randy and Tron really love playing through town, so they got a little thrill out of that. That was cool to see. Oh. Oh. The par four fifth kicks off a great stretch of four holes, all played in the same direction, and it's the first real view you get from atop one of the massive dunes, and it's a view unlike any other hole we've played yet on this trip. So the six is where things get very interesting. It's a par five, and for us, it's playing downwind. And no matter how many times I play this hole, I still cannot pick out a line for my second shot. It's the most blind of all of the blind shots, and it just messes with your head. It tests your ability to make a commitment to a line. You do have to walk up and pick out a point in the hill. Kind of test your ability to like look back at your ball and the green and figure out what your line is. But this is what you came for. This is kind of part of, this is part of the experience of Cruden Bay. It cannot be overstated how steep this hill is. Oh, can't be overstated how cool. Got it? Yep. Sick! That one. Is that worth it? Yeah, you know what? Got it up and down. I'd rather make six that way than, than make five the same way. Seventh is again another one of my favorites. It's a pretty wide landing area. You probably don't need driver off the tee. And then the hole bends up to the left, up through a narrow chute, framed by a dune to the left. But you can't bail out down to the right. If you do that, then you've got a very difficult up and down. I just love the way this approach shot goes up the hill to this little green site amongst the dunes. What up, skank? <laughs> Shaggy grass. The eighth, again, another drivable par four, and again, it's drivable for everyone. I think even DJ drove it. about 250 yards. I thought I thought it was a par three the first time I played it. The par's irrelevant, but it is maybe the most drivable of any par four in the world. Putting from above the hole is treacherous. So, Kakani. Birdie nip. Hey! hey. Another bird for the kid. Uh, Here's the DJ. Great, great birdie back there, man. We're, we're all rooting for you. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. Your temperament just keeps us all sane. Deej, great birdie, man. Uh, there's no stand-up paddleboard partner I'd rather have. Cheers to you, buddy. DJ, great birdie. I'd like this uh, this outfit to go into the Hall of Fame and framed on the uh, Kill House wall for your dedication to content. That means a lot, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, cheers. 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 Happy cheers. birdie. Let's make some more. All right. Tron pretty much lit himself on fire on the front, and uh, right around this point, I think he started hearing footsteps because I was coming.
Very nice. Great four. Right four. The ninth tee was voted the best view in Scotland, and it is a hike to get up to it. It's about a three minute walk, and you are huffing and puffing, but once you get to the top, you get a full appreciation for the magnificent layout that is Cruden Bay. You get your first look at the coffin green on the 14th and you got to take a look to see where the pin is on that hole as well just to its left the blind par 3 15th take a look at where that pin position is because you can't see either of those with your approaches into those holes. Run forever. Kids on Mega Tilt 4X. Mega Tilt. Does Michael this, Jackson Tilt right now. Does the strategy change here? No, we keep firing. He's knifed it and he has gone long. Bit of a breeze. This to tie the lead. Oh! oh. Book said, "Do not miss right." What's the thought process here? Um, the big thing is to take the twenty-point double bogey out of play here. I think I think I can get some good lumber on it. Just get it up here. I think we'll be all right. You must play boldly to win. I know. I think I'm still gonna make par. It's knifed. Oh, I had some spin on it. And he's gonna learn. Well played. He's lost. It's gone. It's gone. It is gone. It's gone. Have a new leader very shortly here. Oh, oh not without a fight, he won't go down. Randy, what are you doing? Playing up in the air. Like a daft American. You deserve that. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. You're a scumbag. You're, you, <laughs> You're a scumbag, Randy. All right, here's yet another birdie for our leader. Uh, yeah, no big deal there. Just another tap in bird. Yeah, what is that, number three, five today? Three, straight up. That's just four. Four today. Just four. <laughs> Left a few out there. All right, another birdie for Solly. Uh, Solly, hey, cheers, bud. Love watching you hit mid irons. Love the way you can fly them down. It's just, yeah. it's really fun to watch. Uh, you know what, man? I thought that was kind of a scummy birdie. I thought you should have. I think you got a kick off that hill. Barely third the gorse push. That's a disgrace. Solly, thanks for making me drink again. I feel like you're hazing me with your scorecard. Cheers, cheers. We're not hazing fraternity. Oh, that's so good. It's like a foot. Oh. The fun really picks back up on the 14th hole. It's a challenging tee shot, but the fun really comes on the totally blind approach shot into what's maybe the punch bowl of all punch bowls. I've never seen anything like this. The way this green sits, it just looks like it was dug out of the ground and just they just scooped the dirt up onto the side into this steep little hill that you can use any side to keep your ball into this little hole. Some, somehow I had a, a big time trouble with this one. Fifteenth again, just mega blind. You're teeing off around this massive dune that we referred to on the ninth hole, the tallest climb you had to make on the course. You just play right around that dune down to the green side. You got a little white pole there to aim at. It's like a five iron and just wail away and hope it ends up somewhere on the green. Oh, 
Hey, blind hole. I'm gonna make some of these day. Do you like that kind of golf? When it's blind like that? I don't love it, but like I get it. It's part of the deal, and it it, it I don't love it because it makes me uncomfortable, and I think that's a good challenge in golf. And it's only blind the first time you see it. Oh, that sound. The 17th has a Viking burial ground right in the middle of it. I think it's, other than the dune on the 9th, it's the only thing that we saw on the whole trip that was taller than Randy. Four. That was awesome. Enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah enjoyed it. it. Enjoyed it. That was great. Well done. Oh. Enjoyed it, Toronto. Great outfit today, by the way. That's <laughs> Cheers. That was dang. Phenomenal. Alright. After Cruden Bay, Tron and I are tied at 158. DJ on 142 after a 56 point day. Big Randy, the caboose at 126. Cruden Bay was our only stop in Aberdeen. It's an area we would have loved to have spent more time. We would have loved to play Royal Aberdeen and Thanks to the new course, Trump Aberdeen, just down the road, a lot more people are making trips to this area. We would have loved to have stayed, but we had somewhere else we had to be, a place that we didn't know a whole lot about, and we had no idea the surprise we were in for. Poland does not feel like any course I've played in my entire life. Can you just point to it? I thought it was on top of this thing. It's a Gruden. It's a Gruden. Oh, cheers. Cracking Gruden. Oh, it's lovely. So good.